Hi, this is Linda Romanello with Post Magazine. Welcome to Post TV here at the 2015 NAB show in Las Vegas. We're here today with Chuck Westfall from Canon. Canon, uh, thank you very much, Chuck, for joining us. Thanks, and thanks for inviting us. We're glad to be here. Terrific. Um, I would imagine that Canon has quite a few announcements at the show this year, some camera news. Let's uh, tell us about them. Okay, we've got uh, top three products that we wanted to let you know about, and uh, the first one I have actually with me right now is the Canon XC10. This is our first small format 4K camcorder. So this is a very exciting product that uh, will do uh, full 4K 30 frame per second video. Um, it's, a, it's an 8-bit 422 type uh, color subsampling, so very, very high quality image. 410 megabits per second, which is also very important to be able to uh, get the maximum detail and image quality out of this. It has a one inch CMOS sensor. Um, sensitivity is up to ISO 12,800, so you can shoot in almost any kind of low light. Um, it has a built in 24 to 240 millimeter zoom lens with image stabilization. Uh, and so very easy to use that way. And it is an autofocus camcorder with face detection. So that if you're doing interviews, for example, you can keep the, uh, the subject in focus as you're walking along or as they're walking along, whatever. It's very, very comfortable that way. Um, now, in addition, uh, the other things that we need to mention is uh, that it does have a 12-stop dynamic range, which makes it a lot easier when you're recording for you know, grading in post to be able to, uh, to shoot in our Canon log gamma uh, to maintain the maximum amount of detail in the source file and then you can uh, grade it after that. So it's very, very, uh, you know, uh, friendly for, uh, for post production from that point of view. Uh, now, it records directly to CFAST uh, 2.0 for the 4K feed, and it also has a uh, SD card that will record the HD as well as the 12 megapixel still photos. Now, there's built-in Wi-Fi also, and uh, that's kind of interesting because with that built-in Wi-Fi, we can not only uh, get the, uh, uh, the view of the image that is being recorded, we also have a, a chance to actually change the camera settings. So it's, it's, it's a very, very useful feature. So this is going to be out in the month of June at a retail price of $24.99, and that includes the 64 gig CFast 2.0 card and a comp, uh, CFast reader. Nice. Very nice camera. You also have some news. You have a Mark II camera that you want to talk about? Yes, we want to briefly mention the C300 Mark II, which is the big brother to the XC10. Uh, it's the second version of our uh, Cinema EOS C300 that, that we had introduced uh, in 2011 and started selling in 2012. Here's a camera that uh, basically, again, we listened to the feedback from our users and uh, really took to heart all the suggestions that we received and tried our best to uh, implement them. So. The first thing that we've done is uh, we've now got a 15-stop dynamic range on the C300 Mark II, which is outstanding in terms of uh, uh, image data. Also, uh, that uh, it is a new Canon Log 2 gamma that's available uh, that will give you even more uh, flexibility to be able to do your post-production editing. Um, it'll do not only uh, full HD and 2K in the camera up to 120 frames a second at 10-bit or 12-bit and even up to 444. Um, but it'll also do in-camera recording of 4K at 30 frames per second. Um, that's compressed 4K in the camera. But then there's also 3G SDI, a dual 3G SDI ports on the camera to do uh, raw, 4K raw out so that uh, you can go uh, uh, and, uh, and do your own uh, flavor in terms of the codec that you want to be able to move it to. Now, um, this is a camera that is scheduled to be available in September, um, and we're looking at a uh, retail price of around $20,000. And I do want to mention the companion product. Uh, and this is the new 4K reference display that uh, we're introducing here at the show. It's called the DPV2410. It's the world's smallest 4K reference display. So the value of that is uh, a number of different things. But uh, I wanted to point out in particular that it has the ability to do 4K raw debayering by itself. So that means that if you've got the 4K raw feed out of either a C500 or a C300 Mark II, that you can see it directly uh, on screen while you're recording. 
Um, and uh, you can also uh, have full support for all the different uh, lookup tables uh, that, uh, that you might want to use. Now, we have complete compatibility with ACES 1.0, the new Academy color encoding specification. Uh, we also have um, the 2020 specification and the DCI uh, P3 Plus, and then we have our own Canon Cinema gamut, which is a, a super wide uh, gamut uh, that'll really uh, give people more flexibility in terms of color. Now this is a, uh, a very small monitor, as I mentioned, a 24 inch, but it's also very robust. So it's designed to be uh, taken on location. And um, it is an $18,000 piece that's scheduled to be available by the end of the year. Terrific, um, and I know you, you did talk about some of the features, but just to sort of highlight them, I guess, one more time, just for the post-market, um, do you want to just touch again on just the, the features in the cameras that would be of particular interest, let's say, or helpful to the work that's done in post-production? Yeah, I think that uh, first and foremost, uh, we want to mention about the Canon log again as being one of the most important ways to be able to get the most amount of image data out so that you can do your best in, in uh, grading. Uh, um, but the second thing is, is that uh, you've got, um, you know, you either have the 8-bit uh, uh, 422 in the XC10 or the 10 or 12-bit uh, capability in the uh, G C300 Mark II that uh, will give you the maximum amount of information there. All right, um, Chuck, I assume uh, these cameras, monitor, and, and more would, are all on uh, display at your booth? They certainly are. Uh, yeah, we have, uh, we have availability uh, to, for people to be able to see and uh, get full information on all of them at the booth. And uh, we also have information on our website. So anybody who's interested in getting more, uh, please do visit us at usa.canon.com. Okay. That's terrific. Uh, anybody uh, interested here at the show who wants to visit Canon, you're in Central Hall at booth 4325. Terrific. Uh, thank you very much. We really appreciate you being on the show, Chuck, and uh, have a terrific NAB. Always a pleasure, Linda. Thank you.